Relationships are very serious commitments. Many people have gotten married after keeping successful relationships for years. It is something most people will eventually do as time passes. A relationship does not have to be romantic. It can be one between friends as well. The same dynamics do not apply. However, certain things help with preparedness similar to all relationships. Some of them include having an open mind, being tolerant, being positive and accommodating. No one wants to be with people who judge them and undervalue them. There are actually things that show that you may not be ready after all for a relationship with anyone. In today's video, I will share with you 9 signs indicating that you may not be ready for a relationship. 1. You think relationships are about other people making you happy. A relationship by its very nature should be mutually beneficial. When you enter into one with a sense of entitlement stemming from either your good looks or your money, you strain the relationship. No one wants to feel like it's a privilege to be with you. They also don't want to feel like slaves to the relationship. If you still think that relationships are meant to make you happy, you really should rethink it. If you are not complete by yourself, another person cannot complete you. Focus instead on healing and becoming the best version of yourself. If you have some traumatic experiences in the past, entering into a relationship with another person without disclosing this can make them unhappy and eventually lead to the end of the relationship. Only God accepts broken people the way they are. It is unfair to expect other people to bend over to make you happy without caring about their own happiness. If you don't have peace within you, you cannot offer any peace to anyone. The same thing goes for happiness. Be content with yourself. You don't need external validation to be alright. People will either love you for you or they don't. It doesn't make you any less of who you are. When you are ready for a relationship, you will know. 2. You seem to have no time for others. If you are always working and missing special moments with your family, entering into a relationship is a really bad idea. If you don't have time for yourself, how can you make time for others? Relationships are majorly emotional and time commitments. You don't need a relationship right now. You probably need a break. No one wants to be dragged into a roller coaster of busy shadows and work. A person can only take so much. If you miss two dinners in a row, it is excusable. But missing five in a row may not be that easy to forget. You will never be available for the person when they need you the most, but only call or visit at your convenience. Once that happens, you become like a parasite, only taking and never giving. No one wants to be around anyone like that for long. You need to decide if you value the person you want a relationship with enough or not. If you value something, you will make time for it. If you value a relationship, you will work around your shadow. Don't leave them hanging because you have work to do. You might as well date your job. Don't allow your partner to feel neglected. Take vacations with them and spend your weekends outside work. That way, you can have quality time together. 3. You are miserable. No one wants to be burdened with too much emotional baggage. It's okay to have some scars. We all do. But it is not okay to be full of regrets and gloom. You will literally bring gloom and despair into the life of your partner and friend. If you haven't come around to dealing with your past, it is probably a good idea to stay clear of people. You might end up hurting them. The sad part about being miserable is that you cannot see any other way of living. You blame fate for your present and you don't stay enough in the present to see anything good that is happening. You chase away people who come close and believe you deserve to be alone. It is as though you are on a self-destructive path with no near end in sight. If this is you, you need to breathe. The world is a beautiful place for those patient enough to see it. You cannot find peace with an attitude like that. You really can't love others if you don't love yourself enough to heal. Spend time reading self-help books that can help you understand your situation and the next step you should take. You deserve happiness, but you must first find it inside of you before outside. You alone can make you happy the way you truly deserve. Give yourself permission to leave. You deserve better. 4. You don't have well-defined goals. When you don't have well-defined goals, you can often leave without directions. You may well spend 10 years and have no accomplishments. When you meet someone who does have goals, it is different. They have milestones and targets. They are always on their toes. 
if you're still figuring out yourself, it may not be a great time to enter into a relationship even if your prospective partner is also without direction like you. You instead need time to figure out yourself. Do you often want to have more but lack the courage to do so? A good friend might be able to help but the best advice is the one we give ourselves. If you don't understand why certain things needs to be done, you will not appreciate the person trying to teach them to you. You need time to decide for yourself what you want to do and why. Once you have done this, it is easier to know the type of relationship you want and the ones you don't want. Everyone needs goals. Goals can help you stay motivated over time. Without goals, you may not know exactly what you want to do and why. 5. You don't communicate your feelings If you are the type to not complain when offended, you may not be ready for a relationship. Communication is one of the primary pillars of every relationship. If the two parties communicate regularly and clearly, they would seldom have misunderstandings. If you don't communicate your feelings, there is no way for your partner to know how you're feeling. People who purposely do this are usually immature and need more time to grow up. Everyone is busy with their lives to notice that you are not looking as cheerful. If you have a problem, say it. Don't assume that your partner should know. Communication does not work on assumption. 6. You are afraid of commitment Relationships are commitments. You really should not consider one if you are terrified of commitments. What are your fears? Did you mess up previous relationships? If you did and you still have those fears, if you enter into another relationship, you will likely end up messing it up as well. You need your mind to be free and at peace. That way you make better decisions. It is completely okay to be afraid of commitment. Almost everyone is. But if you feel the fear too strongly, it is probably a good idea to take some steps back to understand why. You may be perceiving some things in the other party that you cannot understand. If the fears are too great, it is advisable to stay clear of the person completely. Some fears are unfounded, but strong fear should not be ignored. 7. You like your personal space If you enjoy being in your space, it is probably a good idea to not enter into a relationship. Relationships by their nature mean the other party will be in your space, checking up on you, caring for you and creating a connection with you. If you don't want people calling you to hang out or surprising you on your birthday, stay clear of them. The timing may not be right for you. It is possible you are working on a very innovative platform. You need a lot of time to yourself to concentrate. 8. You are very paranoid You may have an irrational fear that people are out to get you. No one wants to be around someone like that. It is best you stay away from romantic relationships at least until you figure out yourself. A great idea would be to go for therapy. 9. You have a picture of an ideal partner There is nothing wrong with wanting your man to be tall, dark and handsome. You can even prefer him short, chubby and intelligent. The trouble is, real life often brings people who have some but never all the characteristics you seek. If you keep looking at your list, you may never settle. Again, if you eventually enter into a relationship, you may become disappointed and your partner may not know why. If you are still doing this, perhaps now is not the right time to enter into a relationship. Thank you.